Hello friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, you'll see my process of painting this watercolor portrait. You can see all supplies that I've used now. Watercolor that I'm using is from an Iranian brand. Also, the papers are from an Iranian brand that comes in a block. And you can see the surface texture and brushes, of course. These are all the supplies that I've used for this watercolor portrait painting. For the main color, I might say first layer of watercolor that I'll be applying. I'll go with yellow ochre and red. It's actually carmine red. Then I have two more mixture with one that is more prone to red and the other which is more prone to yellow ochre. Then by paying close attention to my reference, I see blushes and same tone that should be applied for lower eyelid and nostril. And I would add this to parts that I, I see have some spots of this color and blend. Then I'll add more orange and burnt sienna to the combination of my yellow ochre and red carmine and then I'll apply it on cheeks. Here I'll add burnt umber for some parts under eyebrow. I'll add this color to some other parts of the face as well. Here I'm applying the color that tends to have more yellow ochre to the left jaw. As you can see here, I'm applying the combination that has more yellow ochre and then blend it to make one even looking foundation. I'll speed up the process as the key for layering in this way is to no head planes and then applying the color to represent the plane or part of the plane according to the form of the head and plane. I'll be using red and green as complements when this skin color seems to have more red. I see shadows would be more blue and green and the skin tone is different variation of brown. So this method and thinking helps me a lot in order to make the colors. Now I feel that it's enough for conveying the shape of the face. And now I move on to the next facial feature which is the lip. I'll use red orange for the first layer. And as the color round eye has dried, I finish iris and then paint eyelid crease with some color that is a combination of red purple and Raw umber. I'll paint other dark parts of the face using the same color. Going back to lips, I'll add curvature lines that would lie through the shape and slope of the lips. As I won't be painting a realistic hair, I'd rather to use some bright colors that will bring some liveliness to the hair. It's mostly combination of raw umber, olive green and carmine red. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, bye, see you soon.